Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from your Overwatch. I'm Eddie the Chump and today we'll be talking about golden loot boxes, how to get them and the ethics surrounding them. Overwatch Prime. Right, so let's start with what they are and how to get them. The data mining of a few users that found its way onto Reddit turned out to be true. Golden loot boxes are here. What they are is a loot box with a guaranteed legendary in them. Sounds amazing, right? So how do you get them? Well, what they actually are are loot boxes you get for having Twitch Prime. So if you don't know what Twitch Prime is, it's basically a way of using an Amazon Prime account and have it tie in with your Twitch account. This gives you one free sub a month on Twitch, and now we'll give you one golden loot box which you can get access to through Twitch's website. Be aware there are some restrictions. It's a timed event starting today and running until August the 10th. And you can only redeem one code per Blizzard account. You cannot stack up golden loot boxes if you have multiple Twitch accounts that have Prime. Thankfully, Twitch Prime has recently been made available in other countries other than the US, as that would have probably made people quite mad if that wasn't the case. I'll show you what I got in my golden loot box now. Game tie-ins. Now obviously, the fact that you can't just acquire these upgraded loot boxes in-game is going to make a few people upset. I understand, not everybody has the money for what essentially boils down to an Amazon Prime account, which is a luxury, let's be real about it. However, this brings up a discussion about game tie-ins in general. The facts are, this is just a one-shot loot box that you get as an extra for having all the relevant Twitch products. It doesn't have skins in it that you can't get anywhere else, and it only guarantees one legendary skin, which you can always get through other traditional means. The event is timed, but the content isn't. This isn't a dance emote situation, or an Oni Genji or Officer Diva scenario. This is entirely an optional extra. These kinds of tie-ins make sense to me. I do understand that people will be upset at missing out, but honestly, the golden skin the loot box has might be the coolest thing about it. Knowing my luck, I'll probably get a duplicate anyway. Golden future? This whole different kind of loot boxes world we live in does raise another interesting question. Are Blizzard and the player base missing out on an opportunity by making this a very limited thing? Ask yourself a question. Would you pay slightly more for this kind of loot box if it were available permanently? I get the feeling there would be a lot of players who would. The pricing would have to be appropriate and pro-consumer, but it's definitely an idea I can see getting traction. Maybe there could be some kind of trade-up system, whereby you could trade in, say, three regular loot boxes and get one golden one. As I say, they don't contain anything unique, they're just a more efficient way to get higher tier loot. Let me know what you guys think about golden loot boxes in the comments below, as I'm sure emotions might be running a tad high around this issue. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a rating. If you never want to miss another one of our videos again, please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad, you'll be in good company. And finally, please follow the Your Overwatch Twitter, it's where you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump, and until next time...